Breaking news tonight in the triad's two largest cities. In Greensboro in particular, the city has tied a dubious record. Most homicides ever in one calendar year. And in Winston-Salem, investigators are just now releasing new details about a brutal home invasion and attack. And we have our Kirsten Gutierrez live at the Public Safety Center in Winston. Kirsten, police say there is a fourth victim now. And on top of everything else, this is a kidnapping case. That's right, Kenny. Police say uh, the initial questioning of the two adult victims originally in this case was inaccurate. So after re-interviewing them today, they found out that the home that was targeted was actually a drug trafficking home. And they also found out that 21-year-old Diego Fergozo was assaulted and taken against his will. Right now, we don't know the connection of him to the other victims, but he was in the home at the time. Police say they are concerned for his well-being. Investigators say the incident happened just after 3 on East Sprague Street Monday afternoon. They say three suspects forced their way into the victim's home, tied two adults and a teenager up in different rooms and tortured them until the teenager was able to get loose and ask for a neighbor for help around 525. Investigators say the teen had minor injuries, but the two adults were severely beaten to the point they had broken bones. They were also stabbed and tased. Right now, there is no word on Fergozo's injuries. Police are still searching for the three su suspects involved in this case, but say that these two cars are of interest in the investigation. A Dodge Charger and a Chevrolet Suburban. If you recognize these cars or the man that was kidnapped, you're asked to call police. And while this case is of grave concern, police say it was not random and just warned the community to be aware. It's not good news, but we have at least been able to determine this wasn't random, that no one simply drove through that neighborhood and at random selected his home for this very violent crime. There was there was issues in that home that that contributed to this occurring. Now, police tell me that the victims are recovering, but are expected to be okay.